Sister Afia from the KSA said Ramadan is a blessed month and it is called the month of the Quran. Why is that? And furthermore, she asked several questions pertaining to how the Quran was revealed, who wrote it down, did Allah say, it? did Allah write it down, how many times the Prophet revised it, and so on. Very, very nice. Uh, if we all happen to read the tafsir of uh, number 184 of Surah Al Baqarah, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان. This part of the ayah, شهر رمضان, the month of Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن, on which the Quran have been sent down on it. أنزل نزل, أنزل as one part, one portion. Why we all not we all know that the Quran has been sent down gradually. Nuzzila. Nazzala alayka al kitaba. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the disbelievers said, Lawla nuzzila alayhi al Quran jumlatan wahida. Why the Quran has not been sent upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa as one volume at one time, one shot? From all of that, we understand the following. There has been two types of tanzil. According to Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. The first tanzil, the first sending down the Quran as one book, a copy from the Quran which has been saved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and recorded in the preserved tablet. إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنٌ كَرِيمٌ فِي كِتَابٍ مكنون In the preserved tablet. Then a copy of that has been sent down to Baytul Izzah in the worldly heaven. Baytul Izzah is similar to the Kaaba in the first heaven. And from Baytul Izzah, gradually Jibreel alayhi salam started revealing to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam the Quran segment by segment. Ayat or chapters depending on the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to two different occasions over 23 years. Over 23 years to answer questions. So you say that the questions which have been presented by the mushrikeen and otherwise have been answered by Allah in the Quran before even they ask them? Absolutely. Not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the sound hadith which is collected by Imam Muslim have ordained and recorded in writing the actions, the sayings, and everything of his creatures 50,000 years before he created the heavens and the earth. And that is all comprised, compiled, and recorded in what's known as Al-Lawh Al-Mahfuz, the preserved tablet which is placed beneath the throne which is the greatest creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَعْظَمُ مَخْلُقَاتِ اللَّهِ عَزَّى جَلْ Jibreel alayhi salam every year in Ramadan used to come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi to revise whatever he has received throughout the year and the previous years. Until in the last Ramadan, Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi and he revised the entire Quran with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi twice. Revising the Quran by Jibreel would include that listening to the recitation of the Prophet and the Prophet وسلم, would also listen attentively to the recitation of Jibreel السلام, to the Quran, to the blessed Quran. Al Quran has been said and read by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, recorded in the preserved tablet by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then revealed to Muhammad وسلم, via Jibreel. السلام, and this is our belief concerning. The Quran. It is the magnificent word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Neither the Prophet nor Jibreel nor anyone have put a letter in the Quran on their own or suggested anything. Rather, it is the exclusive word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Ramadan is known as Shahru Ramadan al unzila fihi al Quran because it has been revealed entirely to the worldly heaven 
during Ramadan. And the actual beginning of the revelation started during Ramadan.